22-year-old Tia Freeman was in her third trimester when she boarded a flight to Turkey and went into labor. Without telling anyone around her, Tia arrived in Istanbul, waited at customs, grabbed her luggage, and then headed to her hotel room where she says she decided, in her words, to DIY it and relied on YouTube videos to help her give birth to her own baby, which she did alone in a hotel bathroom in a foreign country. Tia is joining us on, uh, from Nashville this morning. Tia, good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> it is such an unbelievable story, so I'm going to jump right in with my questions, which the first one is, why didn't you go to a hospital? Why didn't you call a doctor? So at first I thought I might have been suffering from food poisoning just from something that I ate on the plane. And then um, after Googling if this was in fact food poisoning or if I was in labor, it said that there was um, false labor and regular labor. And instead of going to a hospital when I might have had food poisoning or I might have been just having Braxton Hicks, I decided just to go to my hotel room. Once you were in your hotel room, I understand, you realize this is labor, baby is coming. I still don't understand why you wouldn't pick up the phone to phone someone for help. Why get on Google and, and try to deliver it yourself? So at that point, when I got to my hotel room, I realized just how quickly it had come, or he was coming, just because um, I guess I had waited for so long. And then at that point, I didn't realize how my insurance would work overseas. And I didn't realize, like the few people that I had met, it was hit or miss who spoke English. And he was just coming so quickly, I didn't even think I would make it to a hospital, even if I called. So I was just like, well, I, I think I figure out I just have to do this. So you didn't panic, you remained calm. Uh, you know, anybody who's given birth knows that giving birth is painful, it's exhausting, and it's messy. So how did you take yes. care of all those details? So um, for the contraction part, they were very painful. Um, but with breathing, that helped a lot. I was able to kind of grit and bear that. And then I decided to opt for a water birth um, to try to help with, like, cleaning, containing the mess a little bit. Um, and so... It wasn't that stressful in the moment just because I was so focused. My body was on autopilot. And so I was able just to like read the instructions and read the instructions and then just go and follow that. You know, after a uh, baby is born, tell us what you did around issues with the umbilical cord. And then, of course, the placenta has to be passed or it can be toxic. You know, women die from this. How did mm -hmm. you know all of those details and what to do and, and how to do it safely? So, uh, YouTube and Google. Um, so, I looked at a WikiHow article and it explained to me, like, hey, don't pull out the placenta. Like, that's something your body has to do. And it just told me to, like, massage my lower pelvis area and it just should coax it to come out on its own. And um, then after it came out, I was like, oh, okay, I'm done. And then I realized, like, no, I'm not. I have to deal with this umbilical cord. And so, it was saying, like, here's some tools you might need. And um, it suggested a pair of clamps and some scissors, which I didn't have. So I ended up using shoelaces and a pocket knife. And then I just followed the directions and tied the uh, shoelaces off as like makeshift clamps. And then I was like, this is the only time I kind of got nervous. And I like poked the umbilical cord just to make sure like it wasn't bothering him. And then once I figured that out, I just like cut, cut it off. It is, it is it is such an incredible story. Uh, you know, some people say it, it it sounds unbelievable. What's your response to people who say, "I think she's lying"? Uh, so I've gotten that a lot. Like a lot of people don't believe me, but um, I, I try to incorporate pictures and videos and stuff like that in my Twitter thread just to kind of show like this is in fact what happened. Um, but to those people, I can only say like I'm telling the truth. I don't know how else to convince you. Um, I spoke with, you know, Turkish Airlines and all of that. And so there's articles and newspapers and videos. And you did have a Carol doctor footage. check you out. The U.S. Embassy did have a doctor yes. come and check you out. And baby Xavier, we should mention as well. And he's healthy and fine today? Yes, he's 100% okay. All right. Well, Tia, thanks so much for coming on your morning to tell us your story. Thank you for having me.